Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a different kind of video for you. This is my craft room, and it is a great craft room, and I love it so much, but unfortunately, this is not where I am spending most of my time right now. Let me take you on a field trip and show you what's going on. This is where I'm currently spending a lot of my time because my kids are doing virtual school. So they are set up down in the basement with all their school supplies and I am supposed to be set up right here to try to get a little bit of work done while I am also helping them navigate. I have this pile of craft stuff that I'm going to be organizing in this craft cart. And the purpose is I want to have some of my favorite things available to me down here since this is where I'm spending most of the time. But on the weekends, I may be taking things upstairs or I at least want to be able to roll the cart and put it away when I'm not down here just to make sure that my supplies stay safe from small hands. So I want to stock my cart and then give you a little tour of what I decided to bring down. When you are setting up a craft cart, one of my biggest tips is to be flexible. Things might end up moving around and then to have extra containers on hand. You don't want things just floating around openly. You want to contain different items in different places. So I have a variety of containers that I just had on hand. You don't have to have anything special. These are just random ones from the Dollar Tree, from Target, from Michaels that were already in my organization stash and it really helps keep items contained. Here is my finished cart, at least finished for now. Let me swing it around here so you can see both sides. And let me tell you what I decided to bring down here with me and then you guys let me know what you think that I forgot. Let's dig in. Now, keeping in mind that I have a whole craft room upstairs, I wanted to just bring some of the essentials that I might be using. I spend about six hours a day down here helping my kiddos through virtual school, but in between checking logins and fixing technical problems, I do have some time to work. So I brought down with me, first of all, these are my planners that I work in on a regular basis. This one is my catch-all planner. This one is for Wild University, which is a program I just signed up for through Wild for Planners. And then this is my work planner. And then this is Stephanie Fleming's new book, Plan a Happy Life, that I am um, working through as well. So I brought all my planners down because I definitely need those. And then in here are some of my most basic supplies. So I have this mason jar. This one is super cute and purple, and it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby a year ago, I think. I have scissors. I have some water brushes because those are much easier to use on the go than regular paint brushes. And then I have some a couple of micron pens down in here. Now I also have this pouch right here that has some pens and pencils in it should I need it. But those were just the basic pens and brushes that I wanted to bring down. I have my roll of my favorite washi tapes. So I keep those on a little binder ring and I can just toss them in here. And these are just some of my favorites that I um, tend to reach for over and over again. And then these little dishes, I am not sure where these are from. I feel like maybe Michael's, but now I don't know. I've had them forever. So in this one, some basic stamping supplies. I brought down one color of ink, just black ink, one block, and then a Tombow adhesive roll. So not a lot of options, but again, I didn't want to bring my whole craft room down here. Um, this one has watercolors. So my favorite watercolors are my Koi watercolors, but I wanted to leave those upstairs in my craft room. So my second favorites are the Jane Davenport ones, and I love how small they are, which is awesome for keeping in a cart. So I brought my um, Jane Davenport ones, a couple of them, and then this is a box, if I can open it with one hand, full of Neo colors. Now I have more Neo colors. 
sorry, more Neo Color crayons upstairs, but these are just some basic colors. And these are also great for um, watercolor, for using in some different ways. And they're awesome because they're small and portable and are not gonna make a big mess, which is awesome. I didn't bring acrylic paint down here because I did not want to have an enormous mess going on on this table. So acrylic painting will just have to wait until I'm back up in the craft room. And then this is like my essentials. I always have to have chapstick, um, specifically Burt's Beeswax on hand. I just have it all the time. And then a charger for my phone. So that is the top section of my cart. Okay, here in the middle section, I'm kind of thinking of this one as my current projects section. So this is the current kit from By the Well for God, um, True North, and I keep it in this rubber bin normally. This is one I got from a local grocery store, Aldi, years ago, so I'm not sure if it's available, but it fits perfectly in my cart. And then I can easily take this bin upstairs with me on the weekends or in the evenings if I'm wanting to work on my journaling at that time. So I like that I have a container within the cart so that I can easily move back and forth. And then over here, this is my current traveler's notebook that I am working in for memory keeping. And I just grabbed, this is an old art journal. So this is, a, I think it's Jane Davenport or Dilusions, it's an old one that I haven't worked in in a while, but I liked the size for being down here. And I thought it would be nice to have, just in case I wanted to try out some new supplies, try out a technique, kind of just a catch-all art journal, not necessarily going for finished product, but just for play. Um, I thought this was a really good size to have down here. And then in the back, you can see my Archer and Olive pens that I just purchased from By the Well for God. Those are acrylic pens that I am loving. And yes, it's a really big box and they don't have to stay in that box, but it's also a beautiful box and I'm keeping them in there for now until I pick up the next color set and have to come up with a new storage system. So just brought those down because I am loving them right now. Those may or may not stay. We'll see how that goes. And then I brought down a cutting mat that I can use um, as protection, Bible mat protection, that kind of thing. So that is my current projects section. Okay, and this is the section that I'm not totally sure about. So I have, I brought down some of my favorite sticker books, my current favorite sticker books from Happy Planner that I can use as I'm working in my planners and planning ahead. That's something I feel like I can do um, even when being interrupted every five to 10 minutes. It's hard to get Bible study done or, um, you know, I can't really film down here, but there are some tasks that I can do down here. So I brought some of my favorite sticker books that I thought I might want to reach for. This is my sprocket printer in here with paper and that allows me to print photos if I'm going to work in my traveler's notebook or um, another project. So I like having that little portable printer. And then as far as current kits, so I am a subscriber to the Hip Kit Club and Felicity Jane. And I keep my um, kits in these plastic file folders, which are awesome. I will make sure to link these below. This is what makes these kits portable for me. So I have all of the goodies packed in here and now I can bring them down here and be able to use them and I don't have supplies everywhere. And when I'm done using it, I just throw it all back in here. I know it all coordinates because it's all in the same kit and I absolutely love that. What I don't love is that these stick out like this, um, but you know, it is what it is. It's 12 by 12 paper, so it's not gonna fit easily in a cart necessarily. So at least they are contained within these plastic folders. And then these are ones that I can also easily grab and bring upstairs with me if I'm wanting to work on them in my craft room. What did not make it into my cart is this. This is my teacher planner that I'm using to organize all of the kiddos um, virtual school stuff, their schedule, the logins, what assignments they have, things like that. Um, it is the big happy planner and it just did not fit nicely in there right now. So um, it normally lives on this table anyway, but I'll have to figure out what I want to do with that planner. 
So that is it. That is my craft cart that I am reusing from my craft room down here in the basement so that I can craft and get some work done while the kiddos are doing virtual school. Let me know what essential supplies you like to keep on hand if you can't always be in your craft space. And let me know if you think that I forgot something important that I'm going to need to be able to do some work down here. So make sure to leave me some comments below. Let me know also, what do you like to keep in your craft carts? I know a lot of people have craft carts as their go-to organization system. So I like to hear all of these ideas because I think these are great tools for organizing your craft space. Thank you for joining me today while I set up my craft cart for crafting and working on the go. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will have links to everything I can find online down below, so make sure to check those out. I also have a link to my email newsletter that goes out every couple of weeks talking about crafts and organization tips. And I hope you have a fabulous day. As always, keep it creative.